you, like me, are probably waking up with this inbox full of tech news talking about NDB batteries, nuclear diamond batteries. What exactly are they? Well, the answer is, I have no idea. So I've been researching it for you, and it turns out that they're kind of interesting. So a California startup company have come up with this brave new idea of totally transforming battery technology. But stick around because there's a couple of things that they really have to address before this becomes real. So here's their hype. It's a spent nuclear waste battery. Here, obviously it doesn't need recharging, it produces electrons. How does it work? Well, in nuclear reactors, the core is surrounded by graphite, which is a carbon lattice work. And graphite in nuclear reactors acts as a moderator. It makes the reactor more energetic by slowing down the neutrons that are emitted by the uranium, plutonium, whatever the radioactive material is. So that makes the neutrons in the radioactive stuff have a higher percentage chance of hitting another radioactive atom in the reactor, producing heat. Potentially, I'm a great fan of nuclear power because it's CO2 neutral, but I also have grave doubts about nuclear power for two enormous reasons. Reason number one is no nuclear waste has ever been stored. It's all at the power stations and we haven't got a solution for stuff that remains radioactive for hundreds of thousands of years. We don't even have a hole in the ground, which isn't a solution to put it in. Plus the thing that really gets me is that nuclear power is a lie and they pretend it's for civil power. And that really has got my goat over the years. But this nuclear diamond battery could be great. So NDB, nuclear diamond batteries, work supposedly by turning the spent graphite, so the graphite, which is the moderator, the neutron moderator inside nuclear reactors has to be changed. It's a nuclear waste because it becomes radioactive itself. And if you could squish the carbon in graphite down to the carbon in a diamond, you've made a very stable lattice. And this is an artificial diamond, but the power and the pressure required to make these little guys is enormous. So it does work, and I can imagine taking a big block of graphite from a nuclear reactor and squishing it down in some kind of amazing pressure vessel into a layer of diamonds, now radioactive diamonds. And the next step is the bit that they're really pushing. So you've squished the carbon into a diamond, it's still radioactive. So radioactive means it's unstable, it's decaying, and it's emitting lots of bad stuff, but it also emits electrons. Ooh, electrons, that's the stuff that comes out of your AA battery. So it is potentially possible if you have a lump of this stuff that you could harness the electrons. I mean, this is what happens in mini nuclear reactors. I mean, but they're still dangerous to have. You wouldn't want them in your phone. But the electrons are there. If only you can harness them and coat them in something that would protect you from any radiation because the graphite is also going to push out alpha, beta, and a small amount of gamma rays, which would eventually kill you. So you need to make it somehow encased or stable. And that's the part of their business plan technology that I don't understand. So I understand spent nuclear fuel. I understand squishing it into graphite, into a diamond, and now a radioactive diamond, which does emit electrons. Okay, I'm with them there. How do you then coat it or encase it into a nuclear diamond battery, an NDB battery, to make it safe? I don't know. If you look at their website, they say that they've got something like carbon-12 nanodiamonds encased with carbon-14 nanodiamonds. I, I don't really understand why that's a shield. Why, why aren't they both radioactive? I don't know, but if you do, let us all know. All right, back to their hype.
And it's good. I mean, imagine a battery, they're saying that doesn't need recharging. Well, yeah, it, it, it never would need recharging. The decay in the nano diamond battery would keep on emitting electrons. Okay, a few less over thousands of years, but your phone would last 5,000 years, maybe longer. And so you can imagine it in everything. So what's really going on? Why hasn't this technology been talked about? Why has it completely passed me by? Are the military using it currently? Does it work? That's the big question. I can see that they're desperately trying to raise funds to make this thing possible. But are we going to be investing in something which is a pipe dream that's going to have enormous problems to produce? My downside that I can immediately see is that graphite from the nuclear spent industry is dirty. I mean, dirty in that it has other decay products in it from the reactor. So you'd really need very pure carbon, really pure graphite that just happened to be radioactive. But this filthy stuff that's coming out of old spent nuclear waste drums stored at all the power stations, is that really going to be useful to process into a AA battery? I think they're going to have to purify it a lot. And I wonder if it's going to be super expensive. But I wish them well because it addresses the nuclear waste issue, although it's addressing it by dealing with the nuclear waste rather than not producing it, which is the thing that you really want to do. So here's a tip from me to you about how to do internet research. You really don't want to reveal who you are to the world, so get a decent VPN and hide behind its anonymity and let the world be your oyster. And the VPN I use is NordVPN. Use this discount code and support me by getting NordVPN. It really works. Now I'd like to show you the nuclear diamond battery promotional film so you understand what they're saying about their own product. Day by day, the world is heading towards a cleaner and greener future. One of the most power-rich clean energy sources is nuclear power. However, nuclear power produces nuclear waste that needs to be stored to protect us and the environment from harm for thousands of years until it becomes safe. At NDB, we asked ourselves, what if we could recycle that into something good? Globally, there are 34 million meter cube of nuclear waste that costs over 100 billion US dollars to manage and dispose of. A lot of this waste is graphite that is used as a moderator and reflector in a nuclear reactor that increases its efficiency. This has in itself become radioactive over the years of being exposed to radiation. This waste is categorized as one of the higher risk radioactive waste, thus it is one of the most expensive and problematic waste to store. Radioactive graphite contains C14, a beta ray emitting carbon radioisotope that turns into harmless nitrogen, anti-neutrino, and more importantly, an energetic electron. At NDB, we said to ourselves, what if we can harness that energy? Since both graphite and diamond are made of carbon, one could make a radioactive C14 diamond from radioactive C14 graphite. This way, the energetic electrons released from the radioactive decay could scatter and deposit energy to the diamond to generate a shower of electrons, as much as 3,600 electrons on average and up to 11,400 electrons in its track. In other words, it generates electricity on its own. What this means is that we can make a battery that bleeds electricity from recycled waste, saving a tremendous amount of taxpayers' money since we no longer need to store the nuclear waste. Best of all, because of its extremely long half-life of 5,700 years, it is in effect a battery that does not run out or need replacing. In addition, because it is coated with a non-radioactive diamond that prevents radiation leaks as well as it being the hardest substance on Earth. It is extremely safe and tamper-proof with no moving parts. It is a clean and green energy solution that when fully used, it will turn into harmless byproducts, effectively self-disposing nuclear waste. 
NDB plans to go further by making the battery as pure as possible to increase the device output by purifying the C14 using our CDPME1 purification process. The purer the C14 is, the purer and more powerful the battery will be. The purified C14 is then processed using plasma-enhanced techniques such as chemical vapor deposition, a technique used to make computer chips and other nano devices by growing materials atomically layer by layer. Metal sputtering will also be used to make a new type of battery we call the NDB, short for nano diamond battery. NDB is a new type of battery that goes against natural instinct. It is a battery that does not run out and its application is used in almost anything that uses a battery. Electric vehicles, mobile phones, laptops, tablets, drone, hearing aids, watches, health monitors, cameras and even sensors. Not only that NDB is an improvement over solar panel in that it doesn't need the sun to generate electricity, and if used to power houses, any excess electricity could be sold to the grid. We plan to install NDB onto electric vehicles to use as a mobile power source that will allow consumers to sell electricity to the grid that will help cope with the ever-increasing national electricity demand. But that's not all because NDB does not need to be replaced. It is ideal for applications that are hard to reach or best left alone like pacemakers and implants. Another use of NDB in hard to reach places is to power space electronics such as those on board a rocket. By installing NDB onto a spacecraft, it could support its electrical needs such as powering its cockpit, assisting its launch into the upper atmosphere. During this period, NDB could be used to power communications as well as console controls and any other auxiliary electrical needs. Once it is no longer needed by the rocket, the NDB could then be used to power satellites and space stations. It could even be used as a disaster relief aid such as for survivor identification drones and radiation monitoring systems post-nuclear disaster. So what are the risks? It is an emerging technology, so there are some specialized technical challenges that need to be addressed. Fortunately, NDB's technical team has multiple diamond nanotechnologists with the right expertise to bring NDB to life. There are three main milestones, proof of concept where we show that NDB works, scaling that will increase the device output into a commercially useful specification that will then allow us to open a factory to mass produce it, creating jobs and wealth. The mass produced products will come in many forms such as 2170-18650-312-277-AA-AA. AA, LR44 and any other specifications since NDB could take any shape. The mass-produced NDB could then be sold both B2B to technology companies and B2C through retailers. By doing so, we're planning to enter the vast 162 billion US dollar battery market with our groundbreaking technology, which gives our company the EV EBITDA valuation of around 10 billion US dollars pre-IPO. So how could you join the battery revolution? You could either buy our shares, starting as low as $4, or become a donor. To summarize, NDB is a clean and green battery technology made out of recycled nuclear waste that does not run out and has application in almost anything that requires a battery, with significant benefits to both society and environment, both financially and ecologically.